try to make a point of saying something in my videos quite often and I, and I think I need to make it quite clear that I'm saying it because I think people might would take me for saying things that I'm intentionally not saying if I didn't. And it is that a lot of the things that I talk about are as much for me as they are for anybody else. That is to say, I'm not sitting here telling you what a wonderful human being I am and how well I managed to do all of the things that I'm talking about or, or railing against people for not doing, right? I'm not trying to do that. The reality is that life is challenging. We're all challenged and there are certain things that are, are challenging to us and I would certainly say that the subject of today's uh, Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics, by the way, I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is Thursday, the 19th of August of 2021. Uh, well, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, on the podcast, and on YouTube. I would say that the thing that I'm talking about today is as much a challenge for me and as much a thing for me to talk about for me as it is for anyone else. You may not kind of hear that in what I say, but you need to know that basically that is a part of what I'm saying here is that this is a challenge for me as much as anyone else. And I have to work quite hard to meet that challenge. And I'm here to tell you that I fail at it at times and that I just have to continue to move forward and try and make it happen. So, again, the subject today is following through. That's what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and read my notes real quick so that you hear what sort of where I'm starting from. There are many times in my life. Uh, when, uh, when, excuse me, there are many times in life when we're pushed down paths we had no, have no interest in following. Not following through, though, is typically not an option. I'm not saying you should never abandon a course of action. What I am saying is just because you don't like what you're uh, going to, uh, you're having to do doesn't mean you should just walk away. Be ready to face consequences if you choose to leave the course you're on for a new one. If the only potential problems were related to the outcomes you face as a result of your deciding to go in a different direction, it would be one thing. That's almost never the case. Others will likely be affected by that zigzag as well, zig or zag as well. A perfect example is a recent trend I've noticed where a, where a man or woman walks away from the other adult in a relationship as well as any minors. Children, right? Because you're not there to see what happens, the chances are good you'll never begin to understand the untold effects of your actions on various people in the situation. It's true that many are uh, that uh, it's excuse me goodness I'm having a hard time reading today forgive me it's true that uh, may work out to the good that said if you're not involved you'll likely never know I've said I'm not the greatest at following through even so my conscience is pretty clear where that's concerned because though I fail I generally try very hard not to all right we're done with notes let's go ahead and talk about the the thing in, in depth. It's a hard thing to do, and I recognize that it's a hard thing to do. And and there are times when it really makes sense to step away from a thing that you've done, that you've put yourself on a course to do. I spent nine years in the United States Air Force and came to the conclusion I did not belong there and it was time for me to leave. After nine years, I had um, two more, a year, I don't know more to do. I think it was a year more to do. And I spent almost nine years, so it was a little more than a year. It would have been 10 years total time by the time I was done with what I was doing. Um, I had to walk away from that. And I had to walk away from it because I came to certain conclusions that led me to the place where following through with that commitment was not something that I could do in good conscience for various reasons. And I'm not going to get into that here because that's not what this video is for. The point is that I recognize that there are times when following through is literally impossible or very close to it if you want to be in conscience and various things of that sort. But I'll just tell you that where I've been in multiple relationships uh, with ladies, I've never once thought to myself, you know, if this relationship goes sour, I'll just quit it. I've never once done that. 
That may seem odd to you. I don't know. Maybe lots of people would assume that it's more likely to be the guy who's going to do that. Let me just assure you, I don't, I can't speak for any other guys, but I sure can speak for me. And actually, I can speak for a few other guys, too. None of them that I know really ever wanted the relationship to fall apart. None of them walked away from the relationship that I personally know. Uh, that's not exactly true. You could argue in certain ways that they did and in other ways that they didn't. But the point is, the real enduring thing that they, that I see many of them trying to do is follow through with their commitments. And I'm here to tell you I try to do the very same thing. Um, I'm not just following through when I look after my son. I love my son and I want to be with him. It's not just following through. That having been said, there is a component of what I do with my son that's me following through as a result of having brought that young man into this world. I'm not going to leave him alone until I basically pass on and can't possibly um, continue to look after him anymore or become senile or whatever, right? Uh, um, you know, the various ways that you can sort of lose mental capacity. Uh, but in my mind, the following through is a large part of things. Now, it's not the important part in that case. And in many cases, it's not the important part. But here's what you need to understand. Unless I feel like I'm doing something bad or wrong, I'm going to work to follow through. And again, let's be clear on this. I'm not telling you that I always succeed. But this is something that I really think that a lot of people need to hear. There are a bunch of folks out there at the current moment who will take something on and the second it gets a little bit hard to do or whatever, they stop. They go, oh, enough of that, and they quit. And I'm here to tell you, that's not how you ought to be living your life. You should be following through on the things that you commit to because that's the right thing to do. That's why. And it's more than that. Like I say, look, you have to realize when you do when you don't follow through on things that you've set yourself up to do, you put other people in a bind as well. You cause other people problems. I have a neighbor in where I live right now. He's not actually living in the house next door, but it's his house. Why isn't he living in the door in the house next door? Because somebody who was supposed to be working for him had a commitment that he made and didn't follow through follow through on the commitment. Now I can give him a bit of a pass in a sense and the and the guy who owns the house did because he had serious serious medical problems that he had to take care of and it made it so that he just basically had to quit doing a lot of the things that he was doing before. My personal attitude about that is you find people to carry continue to carry the torch for you and you do what you can to make it so that they get paid for doing the job. In this case, it was kind of hard, and I get that, and I get that the guy who owns the house was willing to let him drop on his on his task, and therefore he didn't have to follow through. And I'll be honest, probably he's somebody who would have wanted to follow through and tried to do so. Lots of people these days seem entirely uninterested in that. Look, I'm a failure at following through a lot of the times, but it's not because I don't want to follow through, it's because I fail in doing it. There's a difference. There's a difference between doing something wrong, knowing that it's wrong, ruining the day that you did the thing wrong, trying to get back to the place where you're doing things right, and doing things wrong, and just going, oh well, no big deal, and continuing to do things that you know to be wrong. That's not how you ought to be living your life. And you can, obviously, people can disagree with me all day long. That's totally within their rights, if you will, right, for them to disagree. But the point that I'm making is this. When you commit to a given course of action, whether it's long term or short term, you should be prepared to follow through until you come to the conclusion that you either can't in good conscience or you've managed to complete whatever it is you set your mind to. Set your, you know, gave people your stamp of approval on. However you want to look at that. This is what you need to do. And it, again, am I saying I, I never fail uh, in following through? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying just because I fail doesn't mean that I assume that I, you know, this is, this is the, the, uh, old thing that I told, tell people if you, if you eat the slice of cake, even though you're on a diet that says you can't have cake, you don't just eat the rest of the cake because you failed on your diet. You continue on the course that you were on and try and make amends and make things right as much as you're able to do so. That's my attitude and I hope it's your attitude too. 
All right, I need to go ahead and wrap this up. This is a daily summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Today is Thursday, the 19th of August of 2021. For some reason, I had April in my mind. Don't know why. Uh, tomorrow will be Friday, the 20th, 20th of August of 2021, coming up on that weekend very quickly. Uh, thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble, on the podcast, and on YouTube. And the subject for today has been following through. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about something kind of interesting, and it is, quote, the new crop. And I don't quote it in, in the title, but that's fine. The point is that there, that every time a new group of people graduates high school, graduates college or whatever, you start to see a predictable set of things. And we're going to talk a little bit about that on tomorrow's Daily Summation. Hope you're having having a good day today. Hope everything is going well for you. We're a bit rainy in my neck of the woods, but things are, are generally going well. Uh, and hopefully we will see you on tomorrow's edition of the Daily Summation from Curse, Religion, and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Thursday, August 19th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.